At the Bonfire SXM, we'll tweet out the video we're talking about of a man in a fuck suit that we're trying to buy. Fuck suit's probably Jacob, not the best Jacob, I can't way put this outfit on. I'd look ridiculous. Yeah, and dude, I would fucking, <laughs> I'd rip through the back because I'm all long and gangly. <laughs> Jacob, I would look just ridiculous in this outfit. Can you you got to do it. Can you imagine me? But I, it's like, it's small. It looks like tiny pajamas on me. <laughs> yeah. It's up to my shins. You can't have your fucking, your wrists and forearms coming out. If there's a draft. It's all short. If I have a draft in the room and it strikes my shins while I'm fucking that machine, I'll it's be out of it. It's going to throw me off. I'll be soft. It's going to throw me off. Jacob, you're perfect. No. Jacob. Me. Okay. At home. Maybe we're just boy. Just tell us about it. Yeah. We don't have to be there. We're offering you the gift of blowjob. <laughs> Robot job. You get a road Robe job. job. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's the Bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder, and uh, right across from me, my radio husband, Big J Okerson. Oh, Lou, I know you shouldn't come out today to smoke. Are you not smoking yet? I'm trying to quit. Chantix is kicking in. How many days? Uh, about 10 days now. Hey, really? I'm no, still, no, no. I'm still smoking. He's smoking. Okay. <laughs> I'm confused about what Chantix does. <laughs> it's supposed to make you... But you, you take can, it. But you can play through it, I think. I think you, it might not work, right? I think I might love cigarettes so much that I could just uh, override Go through the fucking I, agree, I agree with you. I feel nauseous from smoking sometimes. I go, I can't... And then an hour later, I'll still go smoke again. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> look up, Christine... If uh, there's Shantix failure story, it doesn't work. Oh, you mean the underbelly, the the dark truth of Chantix? <laughs> you mean fucking Ray Liotta just pretending to not smoke? Uh, oh, Kyle, he's pretending his face looks like that. So yeah. I mean, Kyle Dunnigan uh, did a great oh, on yeah. Instagram of Ray Liotta with the face graph thing. Really? Yeah, he did Ray Liotta doing Chantix. Oh, it's really fucking. It's really hilarious. fucking funny. Kyle Dunnigan is very fucking funny. Yeah. Yeah, and that's great. With that, just because they got that facelift. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's the best thing I ever did. Let's yeah, call and get that. Uh... I just remember the batshit crazy Ray Liotta uh, tequila commercial. Well, Do you guys remember that? They would play yeah. it before UFC events, and he'd just be like, "When you want something, you need." <laughs> it's like that. You better have a shot of tequila. It's fucking nuts. He like aggressively drinks tequila. If I was a bartender, I wouldn't feel comfortable serving him. The whole point of Tantix is you you take the pill and it makes you sick of smoking, like. It affects your brain chemistry. To right? Let's get to the smoking science in a second. I want to make sure that this is the commercial I was talking about that's batshit crazy with Ray Liotta. I, I think he just aggressively has a tequila. It's from a couple of years ago. Treat your bartender like a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, weird message for an alcohol company. If your bartender's a guy, Move, harass Mexican. him. But anyways, you get the point. Ray Liotta goes in real feisty and just fucking yells at a bartender for tequila. It was, it struck me as a weird commercial. But they were like, this is a good image. He looks like he was enjoying life a lot more when he was smoking. Yeah. <laughs> Here's great news. I'm half in the bag. Does Chantix really work? Tell me the truth. What are my chances? Frankly, not good. <laughs> Motherfucking mother! <laughs> yeah. uh, does what is this article? Where is it from? We gotta start checking our sources here. Come on, guys. This if is used from a... whyquit.com, and then apparently there's <laughs> to a some video guy, link to some guy convincing other people not to quit so he can keep smoking. He goes, Chantix, fucking, I don't know. My friend Carl used it, and I don't think he liked it. So whatever, man. Let's go out and smoke a butt. It's saying if you're not taking it for the you know whatever anxiety or shit, also that it's gonna make you suicidal. Yeah. No, like Accutane? Yeah. And so then I got maybe you can do me a so favor smooth. and ask Sebastian to stop putting you up in balcony seats so you don't try to jump. Yeah. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, Sebastian, got the email. Listen, thanks for the tickets. Bad news is it's in a hot zone for yeah. you. Yeah. Hey, bud, you're going to yeah. have to bump me up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Lou, are you having any... Are you having any crazy dreams because no. you said that was like a side effect. so you're doing i'm feeling no effects it's feeling uh, except for the cigarettes taste disgusting really but so it really has made it's made cigarettes gross yeah my tongue feels like sandpaper Ew. but you're still going i love it <laughs> well okay. when you love a thing jay um but man. Yeah, he's a long, well, how long smoker so he says the doctor said it was going to take extra long yeah. what's the longest right. time what's the longest you've quit smoking what's the longest you went without a cigarette i went uh, six months on chantix 10 years ago and i've been smoking for almost 25 years crazy smoking i would i would never have the confidence of like Dude, I'll never smoke a cigarette again. Because I think about that. If they hit those fucking missile sirens or whatever they have, where it's like, pum, pum, the world's start. ending, I'm going to be like, pack of camel lights in a box, buddy. <laughs> Let's get it going. I'll be back outside of fucking, I'll just be ripping one up, just lighting it up. Like, 
fucking bring it. Because that's how you go. You miss. Now you don't have that for drinking, and you don't go. I'm gonna get ripped too, right? No, nah, drinking. I didn't like how I was getting when I was drunk. Like I wasn't as fun. It was starting to get dark. But I'm saying, but even the, but like, seems like the feeling of I'm, I'm just saying, like you don't miss the feeling, like the good times of it enough to say if the world's ending, the missile sirens are going off. Oh, if the world's you blowing get butts up, and you do you have I'm, some drinks? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have like a fucking. I'd have a Jameson and a like a Budweiser bottle, cold yeah. bud. I'd fucking do a couple shots of whiskey, put on some music. You want to like sip it again? Nah, fucking bang it back, buddy. Oh, okay, it's world's gross. ending. You, you think it's gross? I don't think it's gross, but that's the way I'm used to drinking it. So gross. To me. I don't like swish it around. Jameson, you just hit, just like pow. Can't even back down. That's what you would do. Yeah, drink Jameson with a bud back. What would you do, no. Jacob? Work out? No, no, I like just shoot up. You'd shoot up. <laughs> if the world's ending? Well, I agree. The world's with you. ending. I'm with you, Jacob. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll start gonna... writing a book until the missiles hit. <laughs> no, dude, I'll get aggressive. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know, man. If if the missiles hit, I, maybe I would drink. I would definitely smoke a cigarette. If would, you have no, if, there, if there's no solution, if there's no answer to the thing. Nothing. I think I smoke I'd get, cigarettes. I'd, I'd make sure I got to Isabella in some capacity. I would try and to... then I would do heroin with her. Yeah, I blast her off. Yeah. It's like when you're in the air and you got to put the mask on. Oh yeah, I'm gonna blow it right do between your toes. You got to do yourself first, <laughs> then you help out. That's what they tell you in the sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your own mask in the air. No, but that's not with head. That's not a. That's an air game. That's not a heroin game. Heroin, you're gonna have to boot the kids up. Yeah, first. absolutely. Because you're gonna. You nod. don't want to fuck up. Yeah, yeah I don't want to fuck up. You're gonna nod. I would probably. Man, I'd see what we have in the house. <laughs> I'd just see what we have in the house. Just, you know, let's clean house a little bit. Just throw some fucking, yeah, some NyQuil and something in the Ninja. Oh, dude, in the fucking magic, in the bullet. <laughs> throw in the magic bullet. <laughs> I go, Vecchione, get ready. We're Jonestown and baby. <laughs> <laughs> We're going Jim Jones. <laughs> I got the cigarette in the corner of my mouth as I'm opening the thing. I go, get over here. I got some fucking soup for us. <laughs> Just like party holding. <laughs> it's in a mason jar. <laughs> I go, is this artisan? I go, yes. Thanks for noticing. I go, it is. That is a <laughs> mason you. jar. Thank you for paying attention to that detail. <laughs> I also want to thank you for letting me rip butts in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I go, it makes the end of the world a whole lot easier. I would eat there they are. There's the quests. Yeah. What's that? You would eat what? I would eat a box of cookies. Oh, you, ba you sugar, bad girl. A f a f like a real Coke. I, 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 I might do that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's I mean, the debate I have in my head at night every isn't, night. Isn't that oh, weird no. to know that, that, you, that you're Jacob's apocalypse plan? That's what going off the diet is, is Jacob's going apocalypse. He goes, I would eat ice cream right before bed. Can I tell you something that exists yeah. that's mind-blowing? And we had to do a drastic measure last night. Uh, Sunday, it was cheat day, and we ordered stuff. There's a place called Ray's Candy Store. Mm-hmm. Uh, in our neighborhood around the corner that will deliver to us. <laughs> what we ordered was a small order of deep fried Oreos, Great. which I assume was going to be two. We were, we were on the phone when you were waiting for I them it was to get delivered. Be, it was going to be two to four of them, I assume. It was yeah. a small order, uh, and I'd get and, and an order of deep fried Twinkies. You were going for it. Which was an order of two. They give you two of those, right? Yeah. Christine? Three. Was it th oh, yeah, that's right. The third order is three of those. So Trio uh, we of get death. them, but it, it, it's... Not expensive at all. We, sure. it, it shows up, and it is. They give us like a Clementine's box, yeah, full of fried Oreos, <laughs> yeah. And we ate. I think we ate two or three a piece, and that was major restraint. Yeah. The next day, I was gonna. I'm gonna bring these to Legion of Skanks, and just forgot when I came back. We heated one up in the microwave and ate it. Oh. It wasn't quite, it was still fantastic, but yeah. not quite as good. And then we went and smoked a cigarette and both said, when we go inside, man, they, they got to go in there. I mean, there's 20 more. I Th said it. And they're this big. Well, you eat it. It's like charcoal. Dude, they were it's, so fucking good. It's the kind of dessert, though, where it's like, good, 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 ouch, I hate life. This we, is painful. We had kind like of two of them, and you're like, oh, I have a stomach ache. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'll get that. I'll see that order of 20, and I'll be like, they know what they're doing. That's how many I want. <laughs> and then I eat two, and I'm like, ah, does anyone? Listen, there's no way you can get through, but I'm telling you just... Uh, unconsciously, you could fucking eat five, you and know, that's you gotta know, be that, just. You know what? I'm a little bad, horrendous for you. You know what? I'm a bad little stinker with mm -hmm. is uh, brownie brittle. You can buy it in the airport. Oh, I've seen brownie brittle before. It looks good. Let me tell you, I will fucking easily walk through a bag, a big well, bag. I'll, the, the things that I'll go it's like through, chips. I try like not to go chips. through. I try not to go through 
bags of chips if mm-hmm. I ever have chips now. <sighs> I try not to go through a whole thing of uh, candy if I go through it now. But uh, but one thing I will do. Oh, Jesus, look at those fucking things. Um, any kind of like dry like like, like a, if I get like a bag of dried mango, mm-hmm. the whole thing's go. Like there's no going back to dried mango. You know what I mean? If yeah. I open it up, I'm just gonna keep eating that until I'm done with it. So this place delivers candy to you. But I, I I don't know about candy, but deep fried, they'll do. It's Twix. Yeah, apparently it's like a New York institution. This place, and it's a little hole in the Banana wall. Banana Nutella milkshakes. That's pretty awesome. I'm gonna have to stop by. It's right by your guys' house. Yeah, it's by Ga- yeah. It's on like. I guess so. Yeah, by yeah. Gas Digital. It's in the East Village. It's on like Six and A, I think. Yeah, buddy, it, the deep fried Oreos were. Jacob, would you go deap-fried Oreos for the apocalypse? Yeah, for the hell yeah. It's <laughs> all going to be manual. like it, you know, simple carbs. You just want, an H. You just, an H. And heroin and sweet, sweet heroin. That's he all goes, I want. Simple carbs and brown. Yeah. Okay. He goes, Mr. Brownstone and some deep-fried Oreos. So you're just going to fucking boot off and eat s- chocolate and then hope you don't wake up. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. I mean, that's the way to go. <laughs> Black Jacob, Lou, I got to tell Black you, you Lou, treat your... yourself to a deep-fried Oreo in the, in the current even that on a cheat day is it's a lot yeah, it's, it's a lot. lot yeah no I'm not gonna lie it's a lot do, we, do you tell them we got a milkshake too no I got a milkshake <laughs> that's but a we lot. also that's threw that out yeah. we both took a couple sips and threw it out we're like what are All we right. doing yeah. what, what did you guys waste a good milkshake cause it's just it had to go in the trash it had to we bought it it had to go we made uh, stone decisions and then we were both like alright we can't yeah, like, that's a stone like, order it's like, I'm not, I can't like if I do it's like if, if I go with my it's the same reason I haven't eaten uh, six slices of pizza in a sitting since I've been like I guess probably in my 30s or so because I'm like well, you, you just don't eat five slices I want to I just am <laughs> such a big I still want to I'm a milkshake fan so the way I look at that order is milkshake first maybe a fried Oreo uh, you know you do the milkshake with sure I was loving Oreo. the milkshake but oh. my, my thought process always like if I went and ordered like a pizza myself I would never get just a small probably it would always yeah. be at least a medium when that would be I think I'm talking about franchise places and the idea was to That's just eat it that. yourself. Yeah, franchise like a Domino's. But that was, when you sit down to a pizza, you're like, well, the pizza goes until it's finished. Yeah. If it's just me, I'm going to keep eating pizza, I it guess. Was, I had a lot of pained nights because of Domino's because of that, where I'm like, <sighs> I got a, a medium. I got to eat the whole thing, even if I didn't want it. And I got cheesy bread. Yeah, of course. Exactly. And you and just sinis- finish. And Cinestics. You just fit. But someone who naturally doesn't do that. That's they're not working towards that. I've watched that. We watched that. Christine gets mad at uh, like girls that come over our house all the time. It's like friends of hers or anything that are like like Karen now. Tiny Karen is. Yeah. She goes, oh, it's no mystery. Like Karen ate a uh, like a chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. Like the one that over you the would course go, like the, an hour. The one that you would like put and like see if you can like get it to like frame the inside of your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you see if you can fit it right into the actual line of your teeth and put the whole thing in your mouth and let it soak for a second before you bust it with your tongue. Yeah. She's on that same cookie for 15 minutes. Yeah. Because she actually picks it up at points and goes, nibble, and puts it back down. And I Crazy. go, that doesn't even make any sense to There's me. nothing better than snapping a cookie in half like Bane over <laughs> Batman <laughs> over your knee. But I, I'll dunk it in milk and then pull it in and just crack. <laughs> With my fucking dumb big tongue. I, I'll dude, just fucking snap that shit. I couldn't even tell you the thickness of one Pringle because I reach down and then my two fingers <laughs> snag whatever they can snag and then that stack goes in my face. Like an armadillo. You fucking get your little fingers in there. Oh, The boat, The least you're going to get out of me is two and that'll be if I flip one around and I make the duck bill with it. Yeah, yeah as a fun <laughs> kissy face. Yeah, I go. And then, and then that's it. Besides that, they're going in three, four stack Pringles. What's the sense? I'm walking through Tate's cookies. You line up four in front of me, that's nothing. You open a rack, you're eating them. That's why it's not a resealable rack. Yeah, dude, I'll do a half a rack on my head. (laughs) Yeah. I don't give a shit. You finish a rack. You open up, you're finishing a rack. Are Tate's nationwide or are they only East Coast? I don't know, but they're very popular. They've gotten extremely popular now. Because, man, when I got onto Tate's cookies, dunking them in milk, that's the thing. You'd eat a whole rack. You'd eat half a rack, and you'd be like, do I just take down this whole bag? I gained so much weight because my girlfriend moved to L.A., and I would just eat a bag of Tate's cookies a night with That milk. was your love. I was just like, plunk, plunk, crack. <laughs> ah, there they You're are. The Buddy, have you ever had a uh, fried bon- Oreo? At the Bon. Yeah, yeah, of course. Come on. I haven't told like, You think I've been to this many re- carnivals, and I haven't I, had a fried Oreo? I haven't Oreo? told sort of recently in my life. It sounded like a gross idea. No, me. it's great. It's, they do fried Snickers 
at uh, they have that there too. Yeah, it's really good. And order it. We ordered Fried three musketeers. I think. Oh, I'm gonna have to go buy this place, buddy. Uh, fried. Or- Everyone here is at a fried Oreo. No. Never. Never. We're gonna bring him. I had to throw him uh, away. Uh, Lynn's nodding. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's funnel cake wrapped around. Yeah. And it's like that kind of crispy, and it's unbelievable. And let really, me ask this. And I'm it's just, unbelievable. I, this is just a stoner working off his brain. Are there fried Reese's peanut butter cups? This place. All of you. We didn't get them. <gasps> we what? thought it would be overkill between overkill. our milkshakes, cookie, uh, bucket of fried Oreos, yeah. and three fried Twinkies. You're, you're eating like a kid who got left alone. I'll tell you this fried Twinkie, not quite as impressed with. Really? I don't like what oh. the cream does. I love the fried Twinkie. Oh, I thought the cream turns yellow, a which house is weird. Di- a house divided. Yeah, it looks like pus. Okay. Now it gets gross. <laughs> I'm a I'm a jelly filled donut guy though. So oh, this is Ray's Candy. It's a New York City institution. Look at that. Yeah. I didn't Ray's know. Candy Store. I mean, Zeppeli now seems. Oh, by the way, in the fried Oreos, this place maybe they all do seem to have a weird little tail on them that you can hold it. And but in the tail made of like fried. Yeah, and that falls off and gets powdered sugar on it, and then you can eat those and pretend like you're not eating. Oh, Oreos. the bottom of the use whole every, basket becomes a thing part. of fried. <gasps> oh. And you just grab a handful of fried and sugar, like Coke. Oh. <laughs> like you were talking about how doing the Coke out of yeah. yeah, that's my Coke. <laughs> Yo, you, <go, laughs> you want to do a bump of some fried and powdered sugar? I got. Hey, you know I'm doing no matter what. <laughs> I got. I go, Jay, these three fried peanut butter cups I had are hurting me. I really, though, want that. You have to. Are have you it. are for the Super Bowl? Are you going to a friend's house? Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Are you going to the same friend? Yeah. Then you yes. should bring those. Yeah. 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 I will. Because I couldn't assume a large order. I'm gonna need a wagon to carry. Oh, you're gonna need me, dude. I, I, I also think we ordered. I think we ordered when they they were closing yeah. in like a half hour, and I think they were just. Dumped us like the. I think they did the cool thing. Oh yeah. Did you yeah. ever have a friend work at a fast food place? It's one you, of the best. And you swing through the drive-through Pizza. five minutes before it's closing, and they just give you a felonious amount of food. <laughs> yeah. I've used to fucking just tear. I mean, like that's why I said how I never even thought about that. Just ripping through. Uh, I would fry Wawa I saw apple that. fritters. Yeah. That's, Ginger Ninja coming through. Saying Ginger would, Ninja. I mean, that might fry. be the greatest idea of all fried. time. What, they are fried. fried. Yeah, yeah, they're like they're donuts. Well, how about they're you double fry them? Right, but now you fry them with funnel cake around them. <laughs> <laughs> fry the fry. Get your fucking head out of your ass, Jacob. What if I told Jacob. you the fry was... Inverted. Inverted. Uh, uh, ginger Ninja, I don't want Jacob fucking shit on your picnic. That was a fantastic idea. I'll defend to the death my... my freedom to fart. You have a freedom to fart. No, yeah. we're arguing two different things here. I don't think we are. I'm blown away, no pun intended, <laughs> yeah. by your willingness to, again, it's me. If I ripped ass real big right here, I, I think it would be hilarious. Here's the thing, I would do it in the right circumstance with the grouping we have. That's no, what I'm saying. No, 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 no. With no, uh, and probably no Corey, too. Just Cor- I, I feel like we've, we've, I would feel more, if I did it first or second episode of mm-hmm. them being in the room, mm-hmm. if I fart. I feel I feel like a crazy person. I'd be like, "That's nuts," but I, I, as I said, it's a term of endearment. It's a <laughs> it's a feeling that I feel comfortable enough around you've you to open my ass, butt. Well, you ripped ass the same way you just did with Becky Rodriguez sitting right there. Because I know there's you. the wall. I got a I got a fucking. <laughs> what do you, how do you think gas works? I got a backstop. <laughs> how do you think gas? It's, I'm peppering the fence. Fills up a room. How do you think it, goes, it happens? It goes it goes out and up. You think your fart just falls to the ground? That's Maybe. it. It's like hot air. No, no, no. Heat it's, rises. I, and here's the thing. It, Christine's heard me fart a bunch and actually has expressed a thing where she's she, she's said something about me farting before that is I've done it more now in the last year than she said I had yeah, we talked about last time. yeah so I said to her in the new year I'm gonna try not, not to like fart around her like that okay. so much now that's the thing but it was Christine and I was with Christine I, I wouldn't have thought much about farting in front of her that she would have had a problem with it. The fact that you fart in front of her is mind blowing. I mean, I, I fart in front of my girlfriend. When I meet your chick, I, 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 there's no she way. She farts in front of me. Fa- She's farting in front of me. I don't freak out. I, you don't have to freak out. Christine's farted in front of me several yeah. times. I mean, I'm not like shit. I'm not like rubbing her face in it. But if I'm just, I'll just crack one randomly. I'm not doing it all the time. But a fart every month, one a fart a month. 
pretty funny. Yeah, right. You fart you fart on this show. I probably didn't fart for at least two months. Check the tapes. <laughs> Almost daily. Check the fucking tapes. I do not. I do not fart daily. Almost daily. In two a, months, uh, it's when, a sweet when we pointed it out when you when you cracked ass that, on that Becky. was December. <laughs> that was December. That's a month. Are you doing technical months? I know. Okay, listen, gotcha. it's like rollover minutes. Sometimes <laughs> I get fart rollover. And how long till you farted in front of your your girlfriend? Uh, three months. We'd hung out a couple times. We'd What's we'd, the move? I just farted and laughed. <laughs> and then you find out You really kind of find out If they're down with it or not I've had girls that are like That's fucking went, disgusting Where are we? <laughs> yeah Yeah I give her the fucking half <laughs> thumb Up or down What's going on? Uh, but I've had girls so for you it's a test I mean, Yeah I've had girls One time you're rolling I don't know if dice. it's a, I, I explained this the last time this happened I don't know if it's because I grew up just my mom and I And she would fart Dude my mom farted in front of my girlfriends In one of the funniest ways It's one of the hardest I've ever laughed in my life and my mom never realized that she farted. She unintentionally farted to get up to walk her dogs. She's like, I'm gonna oh, yeah, walk the yeah, dogs. Yeah. And ripped one in front of my ex-girlfriend and I, and we laughed about it hard, <laughs> yeah, hard for a good three months. And eventually, like, she was like a you know a good-looking girl, and she would she would uh, she occasionally tooted, but I wouldn't. I had an ex-girlfriend that I farted in front of. She's like, that's disgusting. And you're like, all right, then I'll go in the other room when I fart. I'll go in the bathroom and turn on the sink, which feels odd. I, yeah, I don't think a girl. It feels weird. To I, be don't like, think, uh, I don't think. I'm I sorry, my butt makes noise. That's what I have to do. Girlfriend. I think that's. I think that's silly. I think that's fucking silly. I keep it sexy, Dan. Can't be a chick sitting around farting. <laughs> no, but I'm not saying just no, sitting Christine. around farting. But if I catch you farting, it's like Christine, I don't know. It seems like such an old timey thing yeah, of like Christine. ladies don't make noises. Oh no, she makes noise. That's fine. But as much as she goes away to fart, Christine, then it's so obvious. If those farts were happening though in front of me, I'd rather her do them somewhere else. Okay. There you go. You want to I'd go be sh- probably getting six, seven a night. Go shoot your gun in the dirt. We well, got remember our time. Me and Christine, you know what it is? <laughs> Just go fire it. Yeah. I can't hurt no one. But me and Christine also, our schedules are kind of like on tracks. So you have to understand, we when we watch TV together at night. Yeah. So if I only watch like you know two, three hours TV or something uh, a night. When I get home at late night, it's just me and her sitting there, which is when the time when you do all your farting. Yeah. So I don't want Christine if she if it happened once. Uh, here and there, whatever. Who cares? But if there's, nightly she's cracking four farts on me, there's though, no I'd, way, I'd, I'd, I'd be over it. There's quick. no way a sexual partner of mine would ever see me fart the way I fart in a hotel room on the road when I'm by myself. If I'm gassy, because mm-hmm. I'm just ripping it. It's just I'm streamlining. Yeah, you spread a cheek and stuff. Yeah, but, but I'm cracking it and waving it, laughing. I, it's getting kicked back I up. Barbecue before, I, style. I, I, like, I think oh. it, it would be in front of Christine, and if if you was you, Christine and Lynn would be my issue. And for me, it's uh, it would be Lynn only. Well, I feel comfortable enough with Corey and Lynn that I feel like I can fart, and they won't be upset at me. Well, they're not going to tell you they're upset. Well, they make a weird working environment. Uh, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Did I just Louie them with farts? Yeah, you might just get me too. You just assume everybody <laughs> loves just, farts. That's did what happens. I am sorry if I Louied you guys. You with used my farts. your power. You know they know that you're a legend. You said this to me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they work, admire you. They work on another show. They you're a work genius with... of comedy. You said to this to them, and you abuse your genius powers. They, they work on you up, and they go, "We like working with Nikki because she doesn't force us to film her farts." <laughs> go, That's not true at all. I was during a commercial break, and I thought it'd be funny to make Jay laugh during a commercial. Why are we doing this? And then they shamed you. Yeah, you cracked ass. During the read, you're yeah. like, hello, fresh. <laughs> Tell me what's wrong with that timing. Oh, my God. Tell me that's not incredible timing. And you're right, because what most people don't realize about working in radio is that it's a hungry job. I mean it. Hello, fresh. They take the guesswork out of cooking by offering a wide range. they put menu. the gas work in. They do. Get it? And they fuel you up. Classics that we know and love, like Chipotle Spice Steak or Gorgeous oh. Greens Faro. Oh, Bowl. that's coming out sideways. <laughs> Oh my god. 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 Dan, maybe you could do a commercial for them like that. Where you just like, do it. Yeah, it's, you, and you, after you fart, that's what you say. You go, brrr, you go, hello, fresh. Hi, I'm Dan Soder from <laughs> Billions. And when I'm on set pretending that I'm working the stock market, hello, uh-huh. fresh is working my intestines. Hello, for, fresh. Hello, fresh. Or they let me, I get so uh, I get so sanctimonious and narcissistic, I direct the commercial, I go pan it on my butt. <laughs> Back up, it's my butt. Goodbye, fresh. <laughs> Goodbye. I go, Goodbye, fresh. I go, in a simple dog fart. Fresh. Fresh. <laughs> 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 Hello, fresh. <laughs> Hello, goodbye, fresh. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man. Uh, I'm not upset with you at all. Okay. Uh, I just want to apologize to Lynn and Christine and Corey. I'm sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable with my butt noise. Black Lou, it was not aimed at you. It was not a mean of disrespect. White Lou, if you smelled it, I dealt it. Jay. Also, yeah, some people don't like. I learn. I am not. I am not into smelling other dudes' farts at all. Jay, I hear you. Now I understand how you feel. I want to apologize (laughs) for forcing you to smell my farts when you didn't want to. I'm just saying, it made me feel gay. Jay? You're making me smell dude farts. You know, that makes me feel gay, man. Jay, hold on. (laughs) And I understand where you're coming from. I'm just not a gay. Just know that. Jay, look at me. Just know it. I am sorry for putting (laughs) you in that situation. I feel like sometimes I need to express myself through farting. And I can see how that would hurt other people, including you. I'm sorry for smelling my farts. And if it makes you feel gay, we can explore that. Dan, (laughs) shut up. Come here. Just shut up. Shut your damn mouth and come over here and kiss me. You had me at... Hello Fresh. <laughs> yeah. Scene. Scene. Come on. Scene. Come on. Tell Hello Send Fresh. that to them, Jacob. Tell Hello Fresh. Send that to them. You're welcome. You're fucking welcome. You guys send food in the box. Be appreciative of pure art. This is kind of what we do out here. Dan looks at his phone. Oh, the one time I'm looking at my phone and Jay's not. At least I have a conversation when I look at my phone, unlike Jay, who will just stop talking the second he looks at his phone. Christine's nodding yes. You can't see it. It's off camera. But she can't wait to jump behind my friends and come at me. The things I've done for this woman. I hot tag. Recently, she, she's always like a, a tag team, like a hot tag, where I'm like, Christine, she's like, okay, okay. <laughs> she's got it fucking Dude, built went, up. Not even figuratively or metaphorically. She went, yeah, Jay. You do do that all the time. You did it. You gave him the I brick. Went, Holy that's what, shit! That's what brick does in anger. Yeah, brick made is over laughing with them. He goes, ha, 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 ha. Like, Christine, and she's like, huh? Oh. <laughs> the ultimate betrayal. <coughs> no blood. Yeah, she has no loyalty. I fired my managers and, and twice because they were mean to Christine. That's loyalty, though. <laughs> Some say it's a very sexy quality. I see Lynn fucking. Head to tell me right now. What? <laughs> Man that fucking goes to bat for you? She goes, a stand-up guy? A man of honor? She goes, you know what you do, Jay? You look at your phone, you have a conversation. She's over there going, right? She's, <laughs> she was hype man at me. She was going like this. <laughs> okay, well, let's get out of here. Six minutes. Dougie Fresh, you're on. I didn't even put it together. Hi. <laughs> Guys, yeah, bro. I need to see a little more emotion out of Jacob. J- now, Jay, do, when I dip down, do you want me to dip him in front of the door? I'd say just make it look real, passionate, passionate. Now, too much Jacob now. I remember walking over here watching a guy film a rap video, and I was like, "What kind of asshole?" And I was like, "It looks like we're filming a rap video." All right. So anyway, so get up there. <laughs> yeah, Jay's up. You gotta be here. And we're both throwing hands. <laughs> Bounce it on my hand. <laughs> Bounce your butt on my hand, erotically. <laughs> Wait, what's both top teeth? Dude, that's a good video. <laughs> Let's Eskimo kiss. <laughs> Let's go hard after. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Room Ladies and gentlemen. Room tone. <laughs> room tone. Guys, room tone? Moment for room tone. You think your friends would dig this video? Then share it with them and tell them to rate and review. And you know, make us feel good about ourselves. You tell a friend, they tell two friends. Yeah, it's a pyramid scheme of a radio show. It becomes a whole thing. I got some cut go knives also if you're interested. Ooh, I got spider cove, so come come to me if you want the real one.